there's been a lot of talk since GTA 6 was announced, with rumors flying all over. But hey, here's a rundown of confirmed stuff like vehicles, items, weapons, and features for the game. Now, the official release of the game is still a good few years away. Rockstar Games is really putting in the work to make this game top notch. But thanks to a leak, we've got some inside info. We're talking cars, new physics, main characters like Lucia and Jason, map locations, a massive open world, tons of stuff to do in game, and a bunch of weapons you'll get to use. We've also learned about better AI for non player characters, some RPG elements, and cool new gameplay features. All this has got the gaming community buzzing about what GTA 6 will bring when it finally drops. Let's dive into the primary video clips, making rounds on social platforms, showcasing mission gameplay, and offering insights into Rockstar Games' vision for GTA 6. Among the widely shared footage is a mission featuring Lucia, the game's playable character, and a Latina protagonist attempting to rob Hank's Waffles, a diner. During this early test phase, the non-player characters lack distinct facial features and bear a dummy-like appearance, humorously dubbed in-game as such. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. The NPC's responses are influenced by Lucia's aggressive actions, with various animations depicting the fear evoked by the robbery, akin to the dynamic NPC reactions seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. In the diner heist, Lucia has the option to aim her handgun at a hostage, providing players the choice to either rob or engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Managing the hostage adds depth to criminal activities in the game. Jason, the white male protagonist, is also involved in the robbery, allowing players to interact with both characters during the encounter. Jason urges Lucia to act swiftly and escape without a trace, hinting at a relationship reminiscent of Bonnie and Clyde, aligning with previous leaks regarding the game's storyline. The character's appearance bears similarities to actors Eva Mendes and Ryan Gosling from The Place Beyond the Pines, though it remains uncertain if the narrative will mirror the movie's plot. Lucia and Jason appear to be in their late twenties, and the game incorporates a character-switching mechanism seamlessly activated through the controller's D-pad. As the police arrive, Lucia can menace another hostage, leading to a showdown with law enforcement outside. The intricate design of the outdoor area suggests a setting modeled after northern Florida, characterized by lush vegetation. As Lucia and Jason make their getaway, they rack up two wanted stars but avoid a shootout, deftly maneuvering around parked cars before commandeering a police cruiser. This early mission stage is apparent with tutorial-like cues, one highlighting improvements in police AI, where law enforcement remembers vehicles linked to illegal actions. The scene wraps up with Lucia driving the police car, Jason reassuring her of their ability to shake off the cops. However, their escape comes to an abrupt halt, with an unintended collision at an outdated car wash. The early footage reveals a minimap reminiscent of Grand Theft Auto V, with icons possibly denoting missions from unfamiliar characters labeled WM and YJ. As they ascend to the VIP second floor, Dre interacts with DJ Tip, who appears irked by drink delays. A brief spat implies Tip's unpopular status. Dre moves on, and the clip ends. It's important to note that these clips depict early development stages, subject to changes throughout the game's progress. Another intriguing leak spills details on over 500 in-game events, encounters, and Easter eggs. While we can't cover them all, here are a few highlights. Various events like fishing, Satanist houses, backyard wrestling rings, and big cat mansions offer diverse experiences within the game's universe. There's talk of missing tourists, yard sales offering new clothes, an event resembling insurance fraud from Saints Row, a mysterious voice in a storm drain, potentially a nod to Pennywise, a multi-location Bonnie and Clyde mystery, and a workout challenge hinting at the return of fitness activities. Additionally, within Grand Theft Auto 6, players can stumble upon an island camp, DUI tests, UFO sightings, an animal house, a swamp safari, and the prospect of crazy golf gameplay. Based on insights gathered from the GTA forum, GTA 6's open world is estimated to be at least two and a half times larger than GTA 5, providing players with a vast and immersive environment to explore. The game draws inspiration from the successful approach seen in Red Dead Redemption 2, promising a meticulously crafted open world with captivating mysteries that elevate the gaming experience. GTA 6's development footage showcases recognizable real-life locations from Florida, such as the Homestead Miami Speedway, reimagined as the Port Gel Horn Racetrack, along with places like Portofino Tower, Sombrero Key Light, Solar Amphitheater Bayfront Park, and Lone Depot Park. Moreover, the inclusion of the 1,000 Museum, a high-rise residential condominium in Miami, demonstrates Rockstar's dedication to detail. A metro map mirroring Miami's real version adds to the immersive nature of the game world. The presence of lush grasslands and vegetation hints at potential expansion into Georgia. 
although this aspect remains speculative until officially confirmed. The Miami Beach Police Department's resemblance to the Vice City Neighborhood Police Station shows how Rockstar brings creativity into their world designs. Of course, with any early info, we're waiting for official confirmations to see how these elements fit into the final game. Until then, the mystery around Grand Theft Auto 6 will definitely keep fans excited for its release. Now, let's take a look at the primary locations featured in GTA 6. Ambrosia comprises Ambrosia Farms and the Tarmac. Bayside Copperhead, the Everglades, or Grass Rivers, Fairyland, and Fairyland Forest offer distinct settings. The Keys region includes East Key, Low Key, and additional spots like a garage, gas station, and liquor store. Lake Okeechobee encompasses a motel, prison, and racetrack, while Little Haiti, North Beach, and North Miami feature establishments such as gas stations, hideouts, and liquor stores. Port Gellhorn distinguishes itself with detailed spots like an abandoned building, basketball court, beach, bingo hall, bowling alley, car wash, fishing store, fruit stand, gas station, motel, pawn shop, police station, quick shop, raceway, soccer field, and more. Red Hill showcases a forest, South Beach offers a boardwalk, gym, hotel, Ocean Drive, and Park, while South Miami Sundown includes a beach and tarmac. Vice Beach encompasses Vice City suburbs and Washington Beach. Miscellaneous locations such as an abandoned hotel, observatory, fountain of youth, homeless community, Malibu Club, Monument of Leonida, Redneck Yacht Club, Spaceship House, Underwater Research Facility, and Dinosaur World enrich the gaming world. Recent leaks from this week strongly suggest that Alexandra Christina Ekavari might be the voice behind Lucia in Grand Theft Auto 6. Her voice in a demo reel closely matches the leaked clips of Lucia's dialogues, hinting at her likely portrayal of the character. Throughout this breakdown, we've covered loads of info about Grand Theft Auto 6, diving into different aspects of the game. It was important to cover everything we know about the game so far, and while we're eagerly waiting for it, it might still be a couple of years before we get our hands on it. Let's kick off by highlighting some cool discoveries from the leaked clips, focusing on new features and gameplay details revealed. In one scene, Jason and his pals are chilling by an in-ground pool in a modest neighborhood, cracking jokes about a parody of social media called Life Invader. Their banter brings in playful references to Jay Norris's demise showcasing that classic Grand Theft Auto humor fans love. Lucia and Jason are shown in animation tests doing different actions like jogging, stopping, and ducking to avoid gunfire. Rockstar's developers also tested vehicle crash physics on an overpass. The highway signs on Interstate 97 mention North Beaches and Lake Leonida, with the current exit leading to Washington Beach. In another interesting scene, Jason finds a shipping container filled with stacks of cash and a motorbike. Various development clips reveal tweaks being made to a vehicle's interior, hinting at potential new designs or customization options options for players. Throughout the clips, interactions with NPCs in the open world are demonstrated, including characters taking selfies, which adds depth to the game's environment and immersion. There's a moment where Jason enters a gang member's territory and takes cover behind a truck, showcasing unique animations for characters reacting to being shot. A notable find in the clips is a jetpack, previously leaked by Tom Henderson which is seen inside the Jack of Hearts Club. The game features parody social media logos like Snapchat, Instagram, and Life Invader. Characters also sport different hairstyles, with details like Lucia's visible bra under her shirt, adding realism. A new feature is the ability for players and NPCs to hold their guns sideways during combat, adding a different dimension to fights. Additionally, Jason is seen twirling his rifle in the air, while another character in a parking lot shoots at him with their pistol held sideways. The leaked clips also reveal early police AI testing, with NPCs showing better cover usage in shootouts. There's a scene where Jason holds up a diner worker with an assault rifle, and while there are dialogue options similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, they seem placeholder for now. Also, Jason's new ability to go prone is a fresh addition to the series. There's a scene in a thrift or antique shop that allows for robbery, potentially serving as a spot to sell stolen items, adding depth to the gameplay. Another feature borrowed from Red Dead Redemption 2 is the ability to pick up and carry bodies, which adds complexity to gameplay. Red Dead Redemption 2's influence can be seen in several other aspects of this game too. The game brings in several RPG elements, like managing food, drinks, sweat, fatigue, and even taming animals, giving players a deeper gameplay experience. References to mountain bike ramps and city bike rentals promise enjoyable cycling activities. The leaked clips mention a bunch of weapons, from firearms like pistols, shotguns, and rifles, to unusual ones like golf clubs, baseball bats, and crowbars. Players can also use equipment such as flashlights, binoculars, lockpicks, and more. 
Additionally, players can stay in motels and hotels, with the Kington Hotel being one of the options. There's even a pool party with live music for players to check out. References to the Everglades and wildlife like alligators, snakes, raccoons, and birds suggest diverse environments to explore. The weapon wheel system, similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, limits the number of weapons and items players can carry. Lucia can carry a loot bag, possibly used for robberies or stealing from different places. The inventory system allows players to carry health kits and other items for temporary boosts, and Jason can pick up and drop weapons from his inventory. The clips hint at animations like Overdose, suggesting unique actions or events in the game. There are indications of horses and horse riding mechanics, possibly inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2. The open world is full of accessible places, including motels, metro stations, restaurants, pawn shops, and supermarkets. Little details like grabbing a gumball from a quick shop machine add to the overall vibe. A cool feature is the ability to shoot while swimming, adding a new layer to combat situations. All these diverse and interesting elements together promise an immersive and fun gaming experience in Grand Theft Auto 6. Let's dive into the cars of GTA 6. Shout out to the GTA forums for putting together this info. You can find links below to join the discussions. There's a bunch of confirmed vehicles. We're talking the Blista Compact, Ocelot Locust, and a car that looks like an early 90s Buick Skylark. Then there are some new cars without official names, like a 90s Chevy Caprice, a Chevy Malibu from 2016 onwards, a Chevy Sonic, and a Honda Accord from 2018 to 2022. And you know how Rockstar rolls, they'll give these cars their own funny names like they always do. There's more on the list too. Albany Primo, Benefactor Shafter LWB, a mix of Ford Explorer and Tahoe from the 90s or 2000s, a Toyota Rav4 from 2018 onwards, with a mix of Lexus NX style, and a Mercedes Grill, Pegasi Tauros, a 1980s Jeep CJA Scrambler, a 5th Gen F150, a G20 conversion van, a Brute Camper, Vapid Speedo, HV Mixer, Metro Mover, D-Class Sheriff SUV, Mobatsu Sanchez Livery, Nagasaki Street Blazer, a 1970s Ford Ranchero, a 1971 Buick Estate, an Albany Emperor, D-Class Turbo Saber, Yoga Classic, The Contender, and Saddler. Moreover, gamers can anticipate a range of vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 6, including the Slam Van Pickup, Bobcat XL, an updated Regina, Alpha, Gauntlet Classic, Moonbeam Helion, Boxville Go Postal, an unidentified Albany vehicle drawing inspiration from a 1959-60 Cadillac, a Rebel, an unknown Asian sedan, a Ferrazzi or Ferrochi, Baller, Novak, Buffalo STX, Alpha and Feudo, a Benson NF890, Buffalo without a sports bumper, and the Steenier and Landstalker. All right, so in the GTA 6 trailer, there's this moment where this girl in a white bikini gets everyone talking, debating whether she's Lucia or not. She's chilling near this pool, taking in the Vice City skyline, and then she turns around. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of stuff to unpack there. Her hair moves all natural-like, swinging around as she turns. She's got these big hoop earrings, cool purple sunglasses, rocking a purple lipstick, and check out those nails, French tips. Oh, and there's this bracelet on her left wrist that catches the eye too. Now, here's the deal. Some folks are saying, nah, there is absolutely no way that is Lucia, or it just doesn't cross anyone's mind. Their argument? She looks different from how Lucia appeared in other shots, especially in that jumpsuit and during the whole crime spree with Jason. But hold up, there's a good chance that in GTA Online, customization's gonna be off the charts. Need a different haircut? No biggie, just swing by the in-game salon. Problem solved. So, who knows? This bikini girl might just be a customized version of Lucia with a whole new look and vibe. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. You know, I'm pretty confident that it won't cause much trouble. Just like in GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2, it feels like they'll let us switch up our characters' hairstyles again, which is pretty cool. Now, about this scene, it looks like it's happening at a totally different stage of the game. At the start, Lucia's all locked up in jail, doing those petty crimes and all. But in this snippet, she's looking like she's hit the jackpot. Loads of success and riches. There's more to this in the trailer, giving us a peek into what a thriving Lucia might look like. She's sporting a different hairstyle, dressed to the nines, hanging out in a fancy car with Jason behind the wheel. And to top it off, the girl's getting her photos taken by the paparazzi. Some folks out there are betting that this bikini girl is going to be the face of Rockstar's marketing strategy. You know, just like how they've always had that iconic female figure in their marketing since the good old days of GTA 3. So, putting it all together, it really seems like this bikini girl is Lucia. From the style to the little details like the various hairstyles, everything seems to point in that direction. It's exciting to get these glimpses of what Lucia's different phases might look like in the game. Rockstar's been doing this thing with the promo girls for ages, from the early days of GTA 3 to the more recent GTA 5. You might remember them. 
The girl in the bikini holding the martini glass, or the San Andreas girl leaning over at the Vinewood sign with those shades. They've always had these distinctive figures for their marketing. A bunch of people are pointing fingers at this bikini girl, saying she's the new rock star promo face. But I've got my money on Lucia. Take a look at those birthmarks and accessories, those little marks on her face and arm. They're pretty similar to what the bikini girls got. Sure, some aren't super clear, but makeup or sun exposure could easily cover them up. And those earrings and bracelets? They match up pretty well with all the girls who look like Lucia. Even if some shots might leave room for doubt? Like the one where she's driving that fancy car. I'm pretty convinced it's Lucia. Jason's checking her out. The accessories are a close match, and her facial structure lines up. Not to mention, her body shape, facial features, skin tone, hair length, and color, pretty much all of it lines up perfectly. In that scene, the way the bikini girl moves seems a bit forced, like she's intentionally flipping her hair or something. So maybe it's part of a mission, Lucia trying to blend in at some event to gather info, or pull off a heist. Or perhaps it's one of those moments where she's at the top of her game, all success and loaded. Oh, and that bikini she's wearing? It's from the Santino brand, which first showed up in GTA 5. So, in GTA Online, we've got this whole range of clothing options, right? There are jackets, shoes, and some of them even parody luxury brands like Louis Vuitton, which is a real high-end clothing and accessories label. Now, some people are throwing around this theory that the bikini girl might be a returning character from the old GTA Vice City like Mercedes Cortez. But honestly, that's way off. Vice City was set in the 80s, and GTA 6 is gonna be in the present. Like, probably around 2023. So the timelines just don't add up. Even though this bikini girl looks a bit different and acts a bit like an influencer, I'm pretty convinced she's Lucia. She's got those same body features and face structure as Lucia. And Lucia's a game changer as the first leading lady in modern Rockstar games. Before her, female characters mostly played supporting roles or were just NPCs in GTA games, never the main focus. Rockstar tends to put a lot of effort into their main characters. The little differences like the sunglasses or lipstick don't bother me much. We know there'll be in game stuff you can buy, like accessories. And hey, being able to change hairstyles was a big deal in games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5. So I'm pretty confident that the girl in that white bikini on that Vice City rooftop is Lucia. But yeah, I get it, there's gonna be a lot of chatter and debate. Remember the crazy theories from past GTA trailers? Like people saying the homeless guy was Nico Bellic? Or that Michael was an older Tommy Versetti? It's always possible I might be wrong. But to me, it all seems to point to Lucia here. Let me know what you think about Lucia in the comments below. Is she really the white bikini? girl or not. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be cool. And hey, if you're new here and want to stay updated on all things GTA and Rockstar games, consider hitting the subscribe button. Also click that notification bell, because sometimes YouTube acts up and the bell helps you stay in the loop with new videos. Anyway, thanks for watching folks, take care and catch you in the next video.